Mr. Speaker, I yield one and a half minutes to my colleague, a member of Energy and Commerce, Representative Lesko from Arizona. The gentlelady from Arizona is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in opposition to this bill. This bill should be focused on proposals that make the United States more competitive in the global economy and update our nation's infrastructure, but instead it's filled with detrimental mandates. Despite the fact that rail offers one of the most environmentally efficient ways to transport goods, this bill includes regulations that undermine the railroad industry's ability to offer competitive services. The bill effectively prohibits movement of liquefied natural gas by rail, despite extensive research into the safety of this method by the Department of Transportation. This legislation also would allow the EPA to enact burdensome regulations on drinking water utilities, driving up costs for low-income consumers. Under these new regulations, drinking water utilities that serve smaller, lower-income communities cannot receive direct funding from the EPA. This harms low-income consumers and those on fixed incomes. They will have to jump through burdensome hoops and will face increased costs many of them cannot afford. In drafting this bill, Democrats have pushed aside common-sense solutions to push their radical, partisan agenda. I urge my colleagues to oppose this bill, and I yield back. 